Hi, Juvenali here, and I'm finally back home doing YouTube videos. Hopefully a few before I have to leave again. Um, I was in Kisan for work, and I'm so happy to be back and excited to film more videos. I decided to do, uh, yeah. I decided to do an updated highlight and contour video. And so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Because I, yeah, I clearly don't know what to say, so we're just going to do it. All right, so we're going to start with a primer. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, which is one of my recent favorites. It really does help in keeping my makeup in place all day long. And I'm applying a concealer around my lips just to conceal some dark areas before I go in with my foundation. So now I'm applying foundation. I'm applying Makeup Forever HD in N175. And I always apply a lighter, a lighter foundation in the center of my face where I would normally highlight and then a darker foundation for the outside of my face where I would normally contour. And today I'm using Max Match Master Foundation in 9.5 and it's probably the darkest foundation that I own. I've actually been loving the L'Oreal True Match in Deep Cool C9, but I've gotten a lot darker and I've noticed that in pictures, especially at night using flash, you could really tell the difference between my face and my body, which is already naturally darker um, than my face. So I decided to try the MAC one, which is way darker than my True Match. And I really, really like how it turned out, and I'm probably going to be using this instead, um, just because it really matches the rest of my body a little bit better. to highlight my face I will be applying the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande. I apply it to the cheekbones, down the center of my nose, on my chin, around my lips, and on the side of my lips that are normal, normally slightly darker areas that I have, and a little bit on my forehead. As far as my chin and my forehead goes, it's really just a matter of balancing everything out so that it's not just highlighted in one area. I really want everything to look, dare I say, more natural. So that is why I apply it also to my forehead and to my chin. I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend my highlight out. And it's actually one of my favorite tools that I've acquired recently and it's just been really great it's really easy to blend everything out and it gives a really nice finish as well so thumbs up to the beauty blender <laughs> and now i'm just going back with my f80 kabuki brush by sigma just to make sure everything's blended in nicely now i'm using my new favorite powder it's a mineral pressed powder by Laura Mercier in Warm Chestnut and it's just a nice color it pretty much just matches my highlight and it's been working out pretty well and after that I'm applying probably my top five products ever in life it is the Makeup Forever blush powder I don't know what shade it is because it's I can no longer read it on the package but I really love it it's the perfect warm brown color and I used to use other ones before but it kind of left a gray undertone that I didn't like so this has really been perfect for me and I'm probably gonna track it down for the rest of my life. <laughs>
fiber brush by MAC just to once again make sure that everything's blended nicely. And now I'm using a powder by NARS. I will have the correct name in the description box. But it's a really nice kind of deep rosy color and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek and then blending it upward. to apply another favorite. This video is filled with favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Shimmer Block in Golden Mosaic. It is a highlighter. The highlighter struggle is real for me. I have found this one and I'm not gonna let it go until maybe I find something finer. <laughs> but until then, this is definitely my number one favorite highlighter at the moment. pencil this is chestnut lip pencil by Mac and it's also one of my favorite products I call it the dark skinned Kylie Jenner lip <laughs> it's not quite there though I'm still looking for something that's a little warmer a little more on the moon side of things but this is pretty close and I really like it the whole matte lip is in so I have really been enjoying wearing this lip pencil And of course, before walking out the door, I always spray my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray because I do have oily skin. I have to make sure this makeup lasts all day long. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to have many more videos. Bye!